welcome back to Smarmalade Plays Autumn's Journey. We were just contemplating what would happen if we let Ilmari loose in a stained glass church. His eyes would sparkle. Like, just like they're sparkling right now! He's so happy! Here we go. When Mom returned, I pulled her away from the group for a private chat. I don't remember Mom's voice. This is gonna be hilarious. Is it all arranged, so I'll be able to guard the carriage tomorrow? Yes! Then, um... Since I'm going to Oliver anyway, can you write a letter recommending me for knighthood? In Oliver, there was a special guild for the knights. People trained by revered knights could be endorsed to serve under the Sun and Moon Council. Ooh! If I was going to Oliver now, this would be the perfect opportunity to join them. With Mom's name, they would not refuse me. If anything, they'd usher me in with open arms. My mom sighed and rubbed her forehead, already tired of the persistent conversation. She only asked once, whatever. Honestly, Aura, I still don't think you're ready and mature enough to... <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready! Not only that, I can help care, uh, help the dragon kind better. Do you want to hump care without me even doing anything? Is that who you're choosing? Please! She chuckled weakly. <laughs> but I could tell that I went too fast. Wait, but I could tell she was still firm in her decision. Look, I'll think about it! <laughs> Man, this mother. She's a special, special lady. For now, you can assist care to Numari just fine without the rank. She also sounds a little bit like the Count. <laughs> She's, she, she throws her voice. She's like a performer. I gave her a petulant look, but gave in. Alright, I'm glad you're at least considering it. Thanks, Mom. I returned to the others, who were finishing up their meal. As I gathered the did did as I gathered the dishes, Dad glanced toward the stairs. Don't you be taking these young men upstairs, young lady. Will you be spending the night here? Da 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 da. -da. You've already done so much for us. We also prefer more spacious places, so we'll be fine outside, sleeping on top of each other. You sure? <laughs> Do you see us living in these things? Not really. Haha, <laughs> you bastard. We still have some time before it gets dark. I can show you around the town if you like. Omari brightened immediately while Care sighed. I'll go! I'll go! I don't care. <laughs> Pass! Bitches. Oh. Weren't you ordered to learn more about Heavenkind? Annoying. You could just summarize it for me. A more about a more about finding the altars. Okay. <laughs> Which location What? I can't read. Yet again. I'm having so much problem. I can't even speak. <laughs> Which are locations you visit after you learn. Let's do this. Let sleeping dragons lie, Omari. We can have fun without crab apples sulking along. <gasps> I grabbed Omari's hand and led him outside, deciding to show off the orchards the town specialized in, and to mack on his face. And touch his ear things, and make him have an erection. As we walked down the road, we passed a farmhouse where four children were running around playing tag. When one spotted us, he waved, and the other three eagerly scampered toward us. Aura! Aura! Come play! Another time, Chase, you bitch. The youngest sibling crept forward and gazed up at Omari curiously. Your ears are funny. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> Not at all. They're really cute, don't you think, Heather? She giggled. <laughs> they look like butterflies. The children prodded at Omari and ran around until their mother called them back. Although I did not expect that, Omari seemed to have enjoyed himself. <laughs> How sweet! I love children touching me! Haha, <laughs> they're all siblings, so they play together a lot. He blinked blankly before gasping. Dragons don't have siblings! Wow. Siblings? They're all related? Yeah, it's not uncommon to have large families here. Although I'm an only child myself. What about you? I guess you were like, the youngest of a dozen. He gave a sheepish chuckle. No, I'm an only child. It's extremely rare for Dragonkind to have siblings. I don't think I've met one that had more than two. 
He tilted his head, then glanced at me hesitantly, as if pondering something. I have a question. Then for mating season, is it- Alarm bells went off in my head, and I made a giant cross with my arms to dissuade him. And to think about Jesus. <sighs> oh no, banned. I'm banning the subject. As if I could accurately answer those type of questions anyway, being a lovely little virgin. Don't talk to me about those things, dragon. If you don't ask, I won't ask how it works between dragons. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, right. I agree. Bless you. He appeared so awkward that I couldn't help but laugh, and soon we were chuckling over our quick diversion. Ah, ha, 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 virgins. Right. All right, let's keep going. I can show you around one of the farms. Okay. One of the barns was open, and the horses were humping. It actually belonged to an old friend of my family. I casually strolled in, pointing to various equipment. Ilmari gestured to a device in the corner. I have a question. What does that do? Oh, it's a churn. You use it to, well, churn milk or cream into butter. What? Cream? Butter? Lubricant? Here, I'll demonstrate. Pretending, of course. I approached the cylindrical wooden tub and touched the stave. Basically, you plunge this up and down, and it'll shake the liquid and eventually turn it into a solid mass that you can pump up and down as well. Milk, cream, and butter are all types of food. As I explained, the house owner entered, carrying two buckets filled to the brim with something. It was Jizz. Hi, Brienne. I don't know if Brienne is a guy or a girl. I guess it's a girl? I don't know. I saw you showing your friend around, and I thought you'd like to demonstrate the real thing. Yeah, it's a girl. With a wry smile, she set the buckets down. I stared at them expressionlessly. Um, I wasn't planning on staying, Brianny. Haha, <laughs> stop trying to get me to do your work, you lazy hoe. Wow. I want to see it! Between Omari's persistence and my inability to decline a request from my mom's friend, I gave in. Right, right. I'll show you, Omari. Then afterwards, you can show them how to milk coos! <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ, Brianny. Let's do this. Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it all! I wasn't sure how, but I got roped into chores while showing Omari around. His questions were endless, and he seemed to enjoy every minute of it. Whenever I offered for him to take over, he'd shake his head and say that he'd probably mess up. He's also lazy. I had the feeling he was just saying that. Yeah, so do I. At least he loved the apple orchard when I was finally able to guide him there. It was late evening when we returned, and I was rolling my aching shoulder. <sighs> Even my calluses have calluses. I haven't done farm stuff in years. I'm surprised I remembered it all. I had been more focused on my sword training and patrolling duties as of late. But did you have fun, Elmari? He grinned brightly like a child who had just left the sweet shop with a pocket full of cookies. That is so amazing! I did! I thought it was really interesting! <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it interesting, but I guess I've been here so long that it's all routine to me. <sighs> If I was a knight, I could do more things. Hmm? Nothing. Merely thinking out loud. You sure have a lot of questions regarding Heavenkind. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I naturally love learning about new things. In return, if you have any questions about Dragonkind, I'd be happy to answer. He stopped and shyly fidgeted with his hands, and I could tell he was anticipating an inquiry. How big is your dick? Ask how he knows your language, or confess you want to touch his ears. I want to touch his ears! It probably isn't going to go over well, but I don't give a flying shit. Well, I do have one. It's been bugging me ever since I first encountered Care, actually. Of course. Ask away! Can I touch your ears? <laughs> he arched an eyebrow and tilted his head. That's not a real question. <laughs> It totally is, and it's Dragonkind related. Can I? I know Kara would refuse. If you want to, blush you! I don't know why I think the chibis in this game are so cute. Oh, and you can finally see his fucking braid. Good times. I took a step forward and extended my hands, letting him see my movements, since this was a rather close position. Blush you. I reached up and grabbed his dick. 
I reached up and gripped the ends of his ears lightly. The thin skin felt delicate between my fingers, while the other parts were like cartilage. They twitched slightly depending on where I grazed. Aw, oh, they're adorable! They are like a fluttering butterfly! <laughs> it was then that Omari reached over and touched my ears, his thumbs massaging the inner region. Inner region. What are you doing? My ears aren't that unique. They are to me! I've noticed Heavenkind have two different types of ears. Ah, yes, I'm a sun child. Mine are smooth on the outside. Moon children have pointy ears. Sun children possess the element of light, while moon children get their powers from darkness, and they're evil as hell. His fingers pushed my hair back to observe the rims. Wow. Fascinating! 